Today is day one, strength, it's a strength block. Diet's over, shred life over, it's time to get fucking jacked. And we're doing a deadlift only. And we got 10 to 12 weeks and I'm gonna be the strongest deadlifter that I've ever been. We're going for a conventional deadlift, lifetime, 34 and a half years old PR. We got the one and only Joe Game Day Stank leading the way. Captain Stank is gonna lead me to pull something big, dude, because all you know, we tug and we show up. I don't know what everyone else in this world does, but you and me, we tug and we show up. So today's the first day of that. I got a little bit of deadlifts. I'm gonna hit some quads to get the teardrops for all the players out there. And uh, then a little bit of chest and shoulders. Then we're gonna call it a day, a little cardio. Mom's coming in, we gotta train her. So, um, so slipping that glycerol, monosterate to get the pump, the juicy tries. Um, not sponsored, but we're just slamming some caffeine. Shout out to Ghost. And uh, if they want to sponsor us, <clears throat> yeah, if they're down, and then we're gonna go warm them up, and that's why we're here. And I'm about to get gas to the gills 93 octane. Oh my god, same. You guys play Apex, you know, when the <laughs> well, yeah, eco friendly. I was talking about the octane uh heirloom oh, when oh, he spins it, you know, that finite? yeah, that's what I'm doing with my syringes. Oh. You've been an anime people, but you're over here. That's a butterfly knife. <laughs> hey, butter, yeah, butterfly knives are lit. I'm playing the video game, dude. You're just watching. You're in the audience. You're in the bleachers with Hunter X Naruto. And I'm in fucking Apex in it. I'm the legend. And Kyle's the predator. <laughs> wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Apex predator. That means you're the best. That means you're the best one. Listen, no, predators are the best. Predators are good. You don't want to be bad. Confirmed. Predators are good. Confirmed Apex Predators are good. Can't catch me slipping. I ain't had caffeine today. Can't catch me slipping. I have gotten buck ass naked when you got a stump stump ache. Yeah, no, I've been for some I've reason been for some reason years. a cotton shirt for some reason a cotton shirt makes the stomach ache worse. I don't know why. No, I feel like I'm trapped. Like the like fruit of the loom is holding me hostage. And I gotta rip it all off. Do you have like a goal in mind? What are you shooting for? I gotta consult Joe a little bit and we'll get you guys going involved. Joe's one of the best best in the game in terms of coaching. Um, I just want a deadlift PR. We'll still like keep the pump going and we'll let Joe kind of guide all that too. But the goal I think is conventional PR. So a seven plate deadlift or more. And we'll see what happens. Right now I'm thinking deadlift bar just because that's what I enjoy. But we'll see what they say. Yeah, seven plate conventional deadlift. We'll test it in December. And then January, the plan is to run another series. We'll cut back down. But right now, it's gains and strength and tug something big for the family. This is the pilot teaser. And then episode one will be next week. Are you gonna pull it strapless? Come on, man. I ain't that legitimate. We're definitely gonna use straps. Probably use a belt. Today, because I haven't fully consulted Coach Stank, I'm gonna probably just get to like 500 and do like a couple doubles, belt it up, strapped, kind of like a you know, moderate day. And then we'll build a game plan with him next week and off to the races. How confident are you that you're gonna hit this? I got no idea. I'm not not confident, but the amount of volume and frequency or the amount of volume and intensity my body can handle isn't what it used to be able to handle. And that's just on some like life stress stuff. I trained such high volume and frequency for eight plus years. Mentally it's tough for me now and physically. So obviously we'll whip that up when we get the plan with Joe, but if I could train however I want it, eat however I want it, yeah, man, I'm gonna pull 800 pounds eventually. But obviously that's part of like why I don't compete. One, cause the fulfillment we talked about, but also like I got businesses to run. I got my mental health to deal with. I got family. I gotta, I gotta run around taking care of these kids, right? Like as soon as you get employees, I don't work for the gym no more. I try to work for my employees and try to help them learn and grow and assist them. And um, as I delegate, I teach them hopefully new skills that they can go and, and yeah, do the work. But it's, it's, you know, I'm playing a cis role all day. And that takes a lot out of me. And some people can do all of it. I'm not everybody, you know? So that takes a lot of my mental. So I just, I'm confident I can hit probably a conventional PR. Again, seven plates, I think, gets us to that PR. Um, but I'm not like ultra confident in the journey here, you know? Like, who knows? My back, I've had back issues in the past. 
you never know what may happen. I might get, I might get hella fat. I might be 250 pounds pulling six or seven plates, which isn't the goal. I'd like to, you know, stay around 200 pounds, but you know, get a little stressed. And Ben and Jerry and I have a nice date on the couch. You don't know what might happen. We have a good base. So my strength base is really good. My work capacity base probably isn't good. And so I'll probably tell them that. You know, I do one to two hard working sets a, a, a day or a training day, and I'm deadlifting twice a week, squatting twice a week, um, benching about twice a week. So obviously, yeah, not good, not bad. Yeah, I'll either try to get a meeting with Joe or show the text, or maybe we can get some reports from Joe. So Joe might be able to like do a little video report on some of his thought process in the programming that, that we got for y'all. What else you got for us? That's, That's all I got. got. That's all you got. So we're gonna bench a little bit, grab a little booby pump, pump, and then weekend, I'm gonna come in tomorrow, do a little cardio. I need to chill out. We had a lot of donuts yesterday. So I'm gotta, you know. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes, yeah. But we're jamming. A little booby pump, tricep pump. I'm gonna keep cardio up now that I'm eating more carbs. It actually feels like good to do cardio. Or like when you're hella depleted, it's like tiring and you're like, fuck, mentally and physically. So now I got a little K cows in me. It feels kind of good. So I've been doing like 20 minutes a day. Heart health matters. Cardio is good for you. It's not gonna make you shredded. Diet's gonna make you shredded. But cardio is good for you. So yeah, we're chugging. Stay tuned, man. This is the pilot teaser intro, and we're getting after it, man. What do we call it? The tugathon. The ultra tuggy wuggy bear, the deadlift till you drop, the pull more uh, bars than I've ever pulled women series. Uh, stay tuned, give it a thumbs up, be sure to comment below. See what you think I can actually pull. Maybe a little vote, maybe give me a number down there. Goal is a seven plate conventional pull in eight to 10 weeks. Follow the series, new video out every single Monday. Brand new videos Thursday, but they're going to be more topical vlog style. But every Monday is going to be the series. I appreciate you. We over me. Be a part of something bigger. So, Salam Mike, we're out.